All right, Shalom, all praises, honor, glory goes to Yahweh, Shema, Shai, Vashem, Rokadash. Double honor to my apostles and elders, the great millstone, peace and blessings to you, fellow Akim. Brother Hanat, once again, I'm doing an entrance lesson this time, and I want to speak about the detox. You know, the Spirit jumped on me to how to, uh, you know, remove an ailment out of the body, and I kind of want to go, uh, you know, I want to speak a little bit more about that and, and speak about how really this detox is spiritual. It's an actual spiritual detox. You know, it's a battle between the flesh and the spirit. And through my personal experience, you know, the, the moment, you know, I uh, start just casting off the flesh, you know, that's the moment I start being healed, you know, because we have, uh, we're intoxicated, you know, with different, uh, with these diseases inside of our bodies. And these foods, which are, which are, which are strongholds, you know, they, they hold on to us, you know, there's a emotion attached to these foods. You know, and, and I found out through through my journey that I was really addicted to these foods. You know, and I had to fight that addiction demon, and that's the and the, uh, those are the things that were making me sick. So the moment that I uh, start casting off that addiction demon and really just humbling myself and dealing with dealing with the hell, that's the moment that I started to be healed. Of course, through faith, you know, uh, faith, faith and, and believing. Yeah, there's a certain path. You know to healing so I, I wanted like I said I wanted to talk about how the the detox is really a spiritual detox and that in order for the healing to actually happen you know brothers that are really sick you know uh, you you have to really humble yourself and, and going on uh, this the you know the, the diet that I that I recommended you know it's a really humbling experience okay this is not it's not an easy thing if I would I would love to tell you, okay, look, brother, just take take these three herbs for for uh, one week. You know, you can you can just um, eat regular how you were eating, and then you know you'll be good. I would love to say that, but that's not that's not the truth, you know. And a lot of people they don't want to hear the truth, and you know they they want to take the easy way out. But you know, as coming into this thing, we know that this is a straight gate. Okay, this is a path of difficulty. This is not a this is not an easy thing. If it was an easy thing, everybody would do it. But through the spirit and power of Yah Vashem Shai, we can tap into that spirit. You know, we can give up. We can give up those things. That we can give up the flesh ultimately. You know, the flesh should um, shouldn't have dominion over us. You know, and the, and the flesh was uh get uh you know get into me, but I had to really just cast it off. In a moment, I just like you know what I'm just gonna I'm just gonna deal with what the Lord. This is what He wants me to go through. You know, He He wants He wants me to go through that. And as soon as I start going through that, my life changed for the better, like literally changed for the better, you know, all, all that, all those negative thoughts, all that hell that so-called I was uh, catching, I was putting, I was actually putting it on myself because I didn't, I didn't want to change my ways or it was too hard, so to speak, because uh, you see uh, all these distractions, you know, food gives you comfort, which is not even really real food, you know, it's, it's defiled food, you know, let me, I want to bring out a scripture. Because uh, in order for healing to take place, uh, we have to humble ourselves, and that's ultimately with what this uh, this detox is about. It's it's about humbling yourself unto Yah Bashma Shai, coming to Him, rending, casting off the flesh. Okay, the flesh that that uh, this this disgusting flesh that we have on, and, and coming to Him humbly, and then and then that's when the healing is going to uh, take place. But it's it's. But if we are, if we are, uh, you know, so indebted to the flesh by these foods, which the detox, the, the cold thing about it is, I didn't, I didn't tell you not to stop eating. You know, I just told you you have to eat fruit, and you have to drink juices and, and, and herbal teas and fermented vegetables. So you you can still eat, and that's the that's the uh, the beautiful thing about it. It's not like okay, uh, fast. You got to fast for 30, 30 days. You got to dry fast, or you got to water fast for forty days. It's not like that. Your life is going to change, but it's not going to be that bad. You see what I'm saying? It's not going to be that bad. You just got to go through those ups and downs, and you really have to, you have to really battle. You know, the battle is going to uh, begin. You know, we talk about that spiritual battle, right? All oh, the spiritual battle, you know, Satan and this and that, that and this. Well, this, that's where it's going to, it's going to really be manifested. That spiritual battle is really going to be manifested when you change your diet, okay, for a particular season. Which I always go into that word diet. The word diet means 
a way of life. So you have to change your way of life. You're you're very toxic. You know, I was very toxic and I was manifesting in my life. As soon as I start detoxing, really detoxing, not you know playing them games, you know, really detoxing, dealing dealing with the hell, you know, that's when that's when the uh, the magic so to speak started to happen. You know, that's when the Lord uh really started to to heal me. Of course, you must have faith that Yahweh is going to heal you from these things. That's the most important thing. You must pray. Um, scripture I wanted to bring out. Let me bring this out. So y'all yeah, wanted to talk about how it's spiritual. And then also I wanted to talk about a little bit about fasting. Dry fasting. How dry fasting can really uh, speed up the process and supercharge the detox. Um, give me a second. Let me pull out the scripture. bear with me so this is Psalms 51 and 17 the sacrifices of the most high are a broken spirit a broken and contrite heart O power thou would not despise and that's ultimately what's, what's going to happen you're going to get a broken you're going to be in a broken and contrite spirit a broken and contrite heart because you're 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 literally casting off the flesh, okay? I, I don't need those things. Those really those things are holding you back from the healing process. You know, we uh, when you look at all the great men of the scriptures, what happened? They they all went on extended uh, you know fast. Which this is more of a half fast. It's not a full fast. Yet you can also use a dry fasting to really supercharge uh, the healing process, especially if you have you know a heavy ailment you have a heavy ailment you might need to dry fast once or twice a week on top of the the detox that you're doing you know if you if you really if you really want to get that uh that ailment out of your body because ultimately what is that ailment that infirmity what is it? it's a it's a it's a demon right it's a demon that's ultimately what that ailment is and a lot of those uh spirits will it tells you i believe that's in matthew 17 chapter it says this kind goeth not out but by prayer by fasting and prayer so during this whole process what are you going to be doing you're going to be going through a, a, a very ha heavy fasting and prayer process and your mind is going to be opened more you know you're going to you're going to be more spiritual you know you're going to see things more spiritual things are not going to bother you like they used to bother you you know why is because you're going to be more uh, locked into the spirit you're not going to be uh, distracted by the, the cares and affairs of this world. And you're gonna and you you will see that those foods have heavy demons on them. You're gonna see it. Those foods are gonna be calling out to you. They're gonna be calling your name. Your 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 sense of smell is gonna heighten. Things that you don't even eat are gonna be popping into your mind. You know, and those are, are those spirits that's trying to bring you back to them, um, back to them. And this world, you know, this world they get sucked into that. You know, I was at the grocery store uh, a couple weeks back. And I, I was cashing out, and um, the the cashier was she was it was a lady, a, a elder elderly lady, not too not too elderly in her 40s. She said, "Oh wow, you're healthy. I feel I feel uh, guilty." She's like, "Uh, you know, although you know I try to do the best that I can." She's like, "Yeah, you know, I'm just I ate a whole thing of ice cream yesterday. I'm just going to keep eating until I just can't eat it no more." You know, she just basically just gave up on her life. She said, "I'm just going to keep." She couldn't. She couldn't fight those urges. She knew. She know. Everybody knows what to do, but it's, it can you fight those urges? And that's where that spiritual battle comes in. So yeah, the detox. Okay, this herb, that herb. Okay, blase, blase. Oh, take this, take that. Yeah, th yeah. Those things are all necessary. Yet the healing comes from the Lord. It's all spiritual. Okay, because those things are what? Those things are spirits. Well, let me bring out this this scripture real quick. And it's a it's a it's a hard process, man. It's a hard process. I'm not gonna lie to you and say that it's not a hard process, okay? Give me a second. It says, uh, Joe five and seventeen. Behold, happy is the man whom the Most High correcteth. Therefore, despise not thou the chastening of, of the Almighty. So these different infirmities that we have, ultimately, they're just chastenings. They're just, you know, uh, thorns in our side. 
you know, things that we got to go through, but we, we're still able to do the work. Okay. For he maketh sore and bindeth up. So the Lord is the one who, who put you through that situation, who got you, who put that ailment upon you. It says that he maketh sore, but then it says, and bindeth up so he can bind you up. Okay. But that, 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 ha that process happens when you humble yourself and you come to Yah Bashamah Shai. Okay, you change you change your diet for a particular time. And it's and it's and, and and it's about I'm sorry, it's um as long as needed, okay? It's not no okay, I'm gonna do th a three day deep time. Those are all good. I, I, do those things, you know? Do do all of that five day, I wanna do a juice cleanse, I wanna do that. Yeah, you should be doing those type of things, but I'm saying to get the element to have, to actually have the Lord um remove that el that element from your body. You have to humble yourself through your diet, okay? And then you start taking the herbs. The reason why your herbs and your, your teas and your tinctures are not working is because you're toxic, toxic in the inside. Yet, right? You're toxic in the inside. You got to get those toxins out. So you have to change the diet. The, we're, in the, we're in the worst case scenario, okay? We're literally in the worst case scenario. So these are the things that we have to do. Okay? There is, you're not going to... Uh, you you did it before. You took herbs before. You took teas. You did that. You did this. You did this. You did that, and it didn't work. Okay, because it's not going to work. Because you have to you have to you have to humble yourself. You have to rend. You have to cast all the flesh. You have to mortify your members. Okay, look what's going on in in the world today. Esau's about to come in. Okay, you can can are you are you going to be uh, subject to those fools calling? Are you going to be bugging out when all hell breaks loose? When martial law uh, takes off? How do you know? We might not be eating for days. Okay, you got to be mentally prepared for that. You got to know how to uh, eat the herbs. Well, look at look at uh, look at the Book of Maccabees. What happened with them? They went out into the wilderness, the, the mountains, and they were what? They were surviving off the herbs. They weren't they weren't being merry and you know um, having meats and all the things that they used to have. They were surviving off the herbs. So it is possible to do it. Okay. It is possible to do it. It is possible to cleanse the body out of all those things to the best of, of course, to the best of our ability and, and to where the Lord will allow us. It's not like, okay, you're going to cleanse out. Now you got a new body. Nah, no. Yet we're coming to the Lord, asking the Lord to heal us. And, and we have to do that through what? We have to do that through humbling ourselves. Let me read this again. For he maketh sore and bindeth up. He woundeth and his hands maketh whole. See? So the Lord wounds and then he can make you whole he could just go boom are you healed but does that happen no that's not happening that's not how it's going to happen how it's going to happen is through the diet through the way of life you're going to change the diet you're going to get on the herbs well that's how the lord told us uh where the healing comes the medicines that's where the medicines are are in the herbs and the reason why your herbs are not working okay is because you're not going deep enough into the detox look how many years it took you to get to where you're at right it's not going to be an overnight process. Let me bring out another, this scripture. The, uh, the elder Yashwamba, when I did a video, he put this scripture on it. This is a, a very beautiful scripture. Give me a second. One second. Okay, this is uh, Joel 2 and 12. It says, Therefore also now, said the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning. And that's essentially what's going to happen through fasting, weeping, and mourning. The Lord is going to, uh, the Lord is going to heal, heal you. It says, And rend your heart and not your garments and turn unto the Lord your power for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repent of him of the evil. Okay, so we, we're turning to the Lord. Ultimately, what we're doing is we're really turning to the Lord. We're uh, getting out of our comfort zone, okay? And we're asking the Lord to heal us. All right, and, 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 and through our diet, the Lord will heal you, okay? But you just got, you have to believe these things, you know? Uh, I believe that was 
all I wanted to bring out. Um, I believe I talked about dry fasting a little bit. Let me just go into it a little bit more. Oh, let me just go into dry fasting a little bit more. And then also about, I've been getting um, some comments on the other video about, you know, certain foods that, certain fruits that are hybrids or, you know, this and that. I'm not really worried about that, okay? Everything is messed, messed up and tampered with. Like I said, this is about, this is a spiritual fast. Um, if you want to get, if you really want to get technical, okay, everything's been tampered with, okay? Everything's been tampered with. And like I said, this is not, we don't know, we don't know all the inner workings of these different uh, uh, fruits and vegetables. The Lord just told us the, 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 uh, the, the guideline or he gave us the, the platform. He gave us all, he gave us all the information that we needed, okay? Because ultimately the herb is not really going to heal you. It's Yah Bashiman Shai that's going to heal you. He can block off the herb. He can, you can have the best superfood, okay? And it's still not going to work. So I'm not really worried about that. Just go ahead and follow the protocol, all right? And then um, I'm going to do some more videos on if you have a particular ailment, you know, because certain brothers, they have kidney issues or liver issues or gut issues. But the detox really ultimately is covering all of that. I'll just go more into detail. I just I pretty much covered everything in the into the detox outside of dry fast I spoke about it a little bit but if you want to really supercharge um, the the detox you have to, you have to do a little bit of dry fasting like I said you don't have to do long extended dry fasting I mean the dry fasting is going to be good because it's going to go deep 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 it's going to go deep down in there and start pulling shit away and then when you jump back onto the fruits and shit it's going to um it's going to work even more okay so the reason why your tinctures or your teas are not working is because you're toxic. So what do we do? We detoxify. And this is the only way to do it, okay? I mean, there's several ways to do it as far as fasting, but this is the way to do it to where you're not you're not you're not uh bedridden, okay? You're not in the house all all uh, all the time with no energy. Okay? So you have to be in you have to be in it for the long haul, for the long run. But the, the but the thing is, you're gonna be able to go back to the other foods. You're gonna be able to eat one day, okay? You're gonna lose a lot of weight. Don't worry about that. You you can gain the weight back. That's not a big deal. That's the flesh. Don't worry about the flesh, okay? Yah Bashiman Shai does not look at the flesh. He looks at the heart, okay? He looks at the spirit of a man. So you know, uh, you 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 will lose a lot of weight. But that's good. That's where them toxins are at. Okay, we want to get all those toxins out of the body. So you're going to go as long as it takes. Okay, and it's going to be a, a very hard battle, but the battle can be won. Okay, look at all the great men in the scriptures that we look up to that did these things. Okay, and didn't even on a higher level. Okay, so we must prepare our minds. Okay, this is nothing compared to Jacob's trouble that we're about to enter into. Okay, this is nothing. And this is going to get your mind right okay this is going to get your mind right you're going to get you're going to get clear-minded okay your mind is going to be right it's going to be focused i was just telling uh, my brother how i'm like man brother i don't know what it is like i'm just so focused i don't worry about anything like i used to worry about bills i used to worry about this I used to, i'm like i can't even like find the energy to worry about i don't even know it's not even coming into my mind you know just i'm like man this is it's crazy i don't even it's it's really hard to it's really hard to uh explain this is be i'm just i'm just way more clear-minded i'm not worried i'm not worried about no bullshit you know so you know i, I pray the video is edifying to you brothers you know that are going to go on this journey you know it is a journey it is a hard battle but the battle can be won through the spirit man it's a member it's a spiritual battle it's not a physical thing this deep if you go into this detox like a physical thing Oh, I have to have the right herb. Da da da. This nah, This this is, has to be this. It's going to fail. You have to go into this thing spiritual, spiritually, okay? Because it's a spiritual battle, okay? So hope hope the video is edifying. Till next time, shalom to the left.